May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be upon us. Amen. Beloved, I'm here today for us to learn something and, and eyes open. After this message, your eyes will be open so that you can identify false prophets and, and a good prophet. Beloved, a picture is circulating on this media about a pastor uh that's using the juju to do his uh, his church and claiming that the lord the hands of the lord is upon him not knowing he's using juju not quite long ago about one month or about four weeks about uh, two months ago a certain Ghanaian gospel artist Creamy, she has the spirit of God using the spirit of God to sing a gospel, not knowing he's he, she now goes to Juju man to take a uh, powers or protection from that Juju man and later on dating the Juju man. How, what, what does darkness and light have in common? I'm not here to talk about that, but I have the audio. I don't know the reason why the Lord is telling me to or making me to come on social media to talk about what is circulating on this media. I know the Lord wants us to learn something. That's why I know for the show. So I have the picture here and I have the audio here. But I will pray the audio. You take it. But my value is very, very low. I, this device, my value is very, very low. So please, I, listen to it carefully. It's a Ghanaian language. After that, I will explain it to you. So let's listen to the audio. May the Lord have mercy. What all what the narrator is saying that the pastor name is Sofu Owusu Kranche. He is popularly known in Blekum. Blekum is a is a is a is a town or is a region. Is 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 part of Ghana. I, I think it's in a, no, a Bronx a half region. So the narrator is telling us that this pastor is very popular in that place. He can perform miracles and he is doing more miracles, not knowing his powers is not from God, but rather from a juju mind. What a disgrace. This is what the prophets are doing. And the Lord warned us. After that, I will show you the picture. Don't go. I'm not here to show it. Because of uh, in godly way, I'm not going to show the full. Maybe I will show her here for you to know that what I'm saying is not a lie. The Bible makes us understand in Jeremiah chapter 23, the verse number 6 says, You shouldn't listen to this prophet. You shouldn't listen to this cause or prophet because the Lord said he has never sent them. And the Lord said they promise you with false hope. False hope, rather. False hope. They will tell you that you will go to America. The next day, they, you will not go. They will tell you that you, you will be a rich. The, the year will come, you will not be a rich. So, the Jeremiah makes us understand in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 23, the verse number 16 said that these people will promise you false hope. So, uh, the, the Lord makes us understand. Let me give you some Bible verse that you read. Let me that you will read and know that this is false prophet or this is not a false prophet. This is the picture. I told you I'm not going to show the full one. Maybe I will show the here. So this is the picture of that the prophet you are talking about here. 
this is the picture the picture was uh the picture sorry the picture is full from hell to touch he's naked and the juju man let him close his eye before he took that picture because uh, the reason why this picture has leaked on the media is the narrator make us understand that he is supposed to uh, pay the juju man of what he, he he went for it i mean the powers but the pastor is trying to play smart with the juju man that's why the juju man has uh, uh, leaked his uh, naked picture this is the picture as I told you before, because of godly way, I can show you uh, our father nakedness to you. Because uh, even though the narrator said you should spread it, no, never. If you are a good Christian, don't spread this picture. If you have got this picture, it's your father nakedness. Don't spread it. Don't spread it. The picture is full from hell to toe. Everything is down. So don't spread it. He is your father. Even though uh, he, he has done what is ungodly in the sight of God, but don't spread this picture. Just delete it. You can learn the lesson from it. And I open it in this uh, video and this in audio. So don't spread it as the narrator is telling you to spread it. Don't mind him. Don't spread it. Maybe you don't know what God will do the next ahead of you. So why are you spreading it? Beloved, this pastor went to a juju mine. To, to, to correct a, a, a powers, to take powers, and claim it to us that he's using God's powers to, for miracles. Quite long ago, a certain gospel musician, Ghanaian, as we all know, claiming that he, he believed in, she believed in God. She know what God can do. She know really that God is the only one who can protect human beings. But this gospel musician, sister, went to Juju Mind to, to, to seek for a protection and she called herself gospel musician. I'm not here to talk about her. It's an old news. But I'm here to educate Christians that you should be very vigilant. If you want to go to heaven, make a friend. Let your friend be the Bible. And if you want to, somebody to, convert, uh, to, to, to talk to, let God by in prayers because prayers is the communication between you and god never believe in prophet or or or, or your pastor you can you, you ne never trust the words coming you you have to rely on the words coming and even the, that words coming if it's not in the spiritual don't take it Yes, it's biblical when the person is creating different doctrine aside of what our Lord Jesus Christ teachers don't take it don't put yourself on your pastor some people are here when they go to church and the pastor is not there it seems they they have not even come to church they are not happy in spirit they are not even listen they will not even listen to the one who is there they all their trust and their belief is in their pastors like I told you, I'm going to give you about 10 Bible verses. If you, if you know that it, it, the Lord make us understand that in the day, in the last day, false prophets and false, false Jesus will come. False prophets will come. So why is it that they have come and still yet we can't recognize them by their fruit? Why? Or we are intentionally doing that. If you are intentionally doing that, the Lord has sent me here today to give you Bible verse that you can read and understand and your eyes will open if Agatha is real, if your pastor is real, if, if, your, if your prophet you believe him is real. Let's take, take a book and a pen and write any Bible verse that I have given you and educate yourself how you can identify false prophets. Mighty chapter 7, the verse number 15, will, will the Lord make us to be aware of false prophets. First John chapter 4, the verse number 1, beloved, do not believe every spirit by Test the spirit and see. So in the fruit I'm bearing, you will know that I'm false or I'm good or I'm, I'm, I'm from God. So if they write down again the number three Bible verse, Matthew chapter 24, the verse number 24 will, it will educate you and enlarge you and throw more power on you to know the false teacher and the false Christ who, who are now here with us. 
2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 1 to and, and, and educate you on false prophet but false prophet and also arose among the people they are among us they are among with those who are good how will you know test them if the spirit of god is in you you will identify them how will you know if this pastor naked picture has not come how will you know that he is false or he is not good? You will know it by reading your scriptures, being close to your scriptures, being close to your Bible, being close to God, praying to God every day, every night. Look, I like one thing about our uh, Muslim, the Islamic. I like one that they, 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 their, their Quran instructed them to pray five times a day. And even if he's in hurry, he's in, he will pray that five times prayer. But even our Lord Jesus Christ is, told us that you should pray with that season. How, ask yourself, how many times do you pray in the day? How many times? First John chapter 4 verse 1 to 6 will educate you in the belief, how you believe the spirit. Or how you would test the spirit. I say, you, what all what I need from you is that you would take a pen and write the Bible verse uh, I'm telling you. So that you will know who is false and who is good. We are in the end time. So you have to take everything seriously. So that you, you, you will not make a mistake. Or you will not spoil your heart, your white garment. Second Corinthians chapter eleven, the verse number uh, uh, thirteen to fifteen was will educate you about false apostles. It means you have false apostles over there. And mighty chapter twenty four, the verse number eleven to will, will, will educate you about many false prophets that they will arise and perform miracles. Just this morning, I read a, 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 a news a news on the media. The a, a Ghanaian pastor claiming that the Lord has instructed him to sleep with ladies. Oh my God, the Lord has instructed him to sleep with ladies on the altar before he can perform a miracle this is this is blasphemy to our lord jesus christ our lord will never and ever do that or tell you such a stupid thing but this is what we like this is what christians are fighting traveling long distance to go to them to seek in uh, from uh, to seek a marriage to seek a, a a healing to seek prosperity from this false prophet that's why jeremiah is warning us that you shouldn't listen to them if i warn you you will not listen if the bible warn you if your pastor is warning you you are not listening you are interested in those who are on the television you are interested in those who are performing miracles your pastor cannot perform miracles we have only one miracles on this earth and that miracle is when that miracles happen the billions of angels celebrate in heaven that the only miracle that god is expecting to make a sinner to repent from what he or she is doing this is the, this is what the lord called is a miracle Let's continue with our Bible verses. Deuteronomy chapter 20, the verse number 22. He, he, he will educate you about, but the, uh, let me read small. He said, but the prophet who presumed to speak a, a word in my name, he they, they, they presumed to speak, the Lord said that you did I, in the spiritual realm, and the Lord has opened my heart. How oh, can I prophesy to somebody here? Can I prophesy to somebody here? I, yes, yes, share the video. Share the, this is what you have been doing on Facebook. This is what you have been doing. Share the video. Come on, share, share, share. The Lord has instructed me. I'm in your. Who, who is Ernest? Who is Ernest? This is what they have been doing. They learn this ways. They practice this word and come on this media to lie to you because you are lazy in reading the Bible. You are lazy to pray. They will deceive you always. They will deceive you. You you will see them. They will place their their camera on a bush or in a forest and or in a mountain with anointing warrior. And they are speaking lies to you. And you people are saying it. Some of them are genuine. We have prophets. We have a young young boys whom the Lord has opened their eyes because the book of Joel tell us that in the last day the Lord will pour His Spirit on them. But we the 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 first one are more are ninety five percent. So how can you identify them, my sister? How can you identify them by being close to the Lord? You can identify them. 
let's continue with our bible verse second timothy chapter 4 the verse number three it will educate you about those people those people who will come and teach you what is not in the bible this why is not in the bible but let us take it let us take it i and as sda people have a song say mrs su say any medium say any trust anymore Mrs. Sue say, Yen Yen say, Mrs. Sue say, Yen Kan say. It's not in the scriptures. That is the meaning of the song. But they are doing it. So be careful. You, you will see that Bible verse in 2 Timothy chapter 4, the verse number 3. Romans chapter 16, the verse number 18 will educate you. For such person do not serve our Lord. The, the, uh, let us read this Bible verse and educate yourself. Educate yourself so that if you see false prophets, false teacher, false evangelists, you will recognize it by your own self without asking anybody. My sister, my brother, the end, this is the end time. You shouldn't take anything for granted. You shouldn't take anything we see on social media. Don't believe anything you see. Don't believe and trust and put your hope in a certain things you see unless you have heard from the Lord that what all this I'm doing is from the Lord. I should accept it let the spirit of, of God in you direct you guide you let the will of God be in your life Jeremiah Jeremiah chapter 23 the verse number 16 the next Bible verse is Revelation chapter 20 Revelation chapter 90 the verse number 20 and then the next one Deuteronomy chapter 18 the verse number 20 the next one is Luke chapter 2 says the verse number 26 if I, I, I made a mistake in those Bible verse you can correct me I once made a video about uh, Jay-Z and Co. I saw that I make a mistake uh, about one mistake with, by telling uh, uh, saying the Bible verse, so I know it by God's grace, I know it, but because I'm speaking fast, and uh, you know, mistakenly is from everywhere on our tongue. So please forgive me if I made a mistake in the Bible verse I'm giving, but I pray to the Lord that I will give you the right one in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm not going to tell you a mistakenly and you write it mistake and learn it mistake. May God forbid. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. He said, Luke chapter two, Luke chapter six, the verse number six, uh, twenty six. This one is good. Let's let's read this one. He said, Woe, woe to you when all people speak well of you. Woe to you. You know you are with somebody husband. You know you are with somebody wife. And the prophets are prophesying to you that you will succeed. You will do this. We will do this. The Bible says, Woe to you. Woe to you when they speak good to you. For you, you, they speak good to you. For so their father did the same false prophet. So this false prophet, they will die from the, they will die, and their children will come and inherit them. Their children will come and inherit them. That's why you always see them every Sunday. They are the only person who preach. Every Sunday, you will not see them to change to some, uh, the small pastor. Every Sunday, he is the only one to preach. That's why when the congregation see that today, pastor did not come, the, the church is not there. You are easy to convince about their false doctrine. They are easy to convince about their false prophet, uh, prophecy. How, look at how stupid and, 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 and necessary thing that happened on 31st night. People are addressing, listening to false prophecy. What is the prophecy? What is a prophecy? A prophecy that does not benefit the kingdom of heaven is a false prophecy. A prophecy that does not benefit the sinner to, to repent from his, his evil doing to come to Christ is a false prophecy. I'm with someone husband. You need to prophesy to me that if you didn't separate yourself from that husband of your sister, if you didn't separate yourself from that husband of your father, of your mother, of your uncle, if you didn't separate yourself, Agatha, if you didn't do that, the Lord is going to strike you to death. This is the prophecy you need to prophesy to me. You know that I'm the popular thief in this uh, area. You know that I'm thief. I still, I'm a thief. Everybody know in that uh, neighborhood. 
but you will call me and prophesy to me that I will build a mansion. Why is it that you come? The Lord didn't tell you that I'm a thief, but you are prophesying to me. You know that I'm an abortion killer. I, I bought more babies and even help people to abort their babies. The only prophecy you can prophesy to me that I should repent from that evil to the meddler I'm doing. This is the only prophecy you can prophesy to me. You can't deceive me with such prophecy that hey, I'm in a sin and you are, you, are, you, are, you are preaching prosperity to me. You need to rebuke me. You need to rebuke me. Let's read. And take, uh, continue with the Bible, best please, beloved. Continue. Mark chapter 13, the verse number 22. Revelation chapter 20, the verse number 9. Mark chapter 7, the verse number 6 to 9. Let's read the word of God. Let's continue. Let's continue. The Bible verse are many. It's because of you and me. Because of your, of your humble soul. Because of your humble soul. That's why I'm giving you this Bible verse. After that, I too will go and sat down and watch the video and dot it down and learn it. The Lord told Moses to tell the Israelites that they should, they, they, they should tear their clothes. They should tear their hearts, rather, not their garments. And the Lord made us understand that from today going, he is going to write the commandment or the law on our heart tablet, not on stone. Hallelujah. So every day, every night, you need to have the voice of the Lord in you. If not, they will deceive you by their prophecy. They will deceive you by their, their words. They will deceive you. Mighty chapter, uh, mighty chapter 7, the verse number 21. Not everyone who said to me, Lord, Lord, hallelujah. No, not everyone who said to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. So everybody can use the name Jesus to perform a miracle. Even the juju might use the name of Jesus to perform a miracle. So how will you know? Sister, how will you know? Brother, how will you know? Dad, how will you know? Mama, how will you know? How will you know? You will know when the words of the Lord is in you. Second Peter chapter 2, the verse number 3. Jeremiah chapter 14, the verse number 14. Let's read that one. And the Lord said to me, Jeremiah, the prophets are prophesying lies. <laughs> Mercy, Lord. The Lord, the Lord, they are prophesying lies in my name. I did not send them, nor did I command them or speak to them. They are prophesying to you a lying vision. May the name of our Lord Jesus Christ be praised everywhere. Read this Bible verse. Second Peter chapter 2, the verse number 1 to 3. Romans chapter 16, the verse number 17 to 18. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 3 to 4. Jeremiah chapter 21, the verse number 1 to 40. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, the verse number 33. Ezekiel chapter 22, the verse number 28. My brother, my sister, auntie, da, take this Bible verse and read it. If you read this Bible verse and you are still following that the Lord is going to judge you. you, you your hope is in you, uh, in your, fa your, your pastor sticker more than the Bible. Your pastor have 500 bodyguards with arms, those who are the, the, the soldiers. Protecting him, and you are just using anointing warrior or a sticker to pro protect yourself. What kind of brain? What what kind of a brain is in your head? Is it memory card or brain, or is it microchip or brain? Even in such thing, you have to think wise. Every Christian who is not wise will not be in the kingdom of heaven because the Lord said, "No stop it, but no stop it will stand in front of me." Only the wise, because our Lord Jesus Christ is wise. So if you are following him, you have to be wise. If you are not wise, you won't, you won't enter the kingdom of heaven. 
Matthew chapter 24, the verse number 4 to 5. Jude chapter 1, the verse number 4. Matthew chapter 15, the verse number 2. I have given you about 15 Bible verses that you read and see that this man is from God. This woman is from God. How can the Lord tell you that you should sleep with, you should sleep with ladies in the church, the altar, before you can perform a miracle? In which in the Bible, even a five-year-old child will not believe this. But you will see idols, those who with gray hair, those who with gray hair will believe this stupid things. How can the Lord tell you that you should take panties and burn them in his house and use it as a, sec as a, as a miracle? Our Lord Jesus is not, a, a, is not that kind of God you people are claiming to be. How can the Lord tell you that you should date someone's husband? And this prophet are sleeping with married women on their altar, claiming that the Lord is the one who instructed them to do so. Woe to you. Woe to you. Jeremiah said, don't listen to them. I, the Lord, have not sent them. They will prophesy to you falsehood. I, the Lord, have not sent them. I, the Lord, has not sent them. Ezekiel chapter 19, uh, uh, 3, 2, uh, Ezekiel chapter 13, the verse number 9. Because of that, I say, my hand will be against the false prophets who see false vision. My hand will be against on the false prophets who see few, uh, false vision. This means the vision, some are false, and we have a vision that is from God. I don't know the reason why when I wake up, when I'm trying to read the Bible, I just, sorry, I just go to the, uh, the, the prophet's Bible, uh, the, uh, the prophet. I mean, Jeremiah, Isaiah, Isaiah. I love, I love reading those Bibles. I don't understand. At first, I was not like that. So you have a false vision and a, and a good vision. This is what a prophet Ezekiel said. He said, my hand is against on the, those prophets. That say, that, that, that word, that see false vision. So you can, you can dream or you can have a revelation. And that revelation will be, it, maybe it's from God or it's from the evil, evil, the evil or the devil. The Bible can speak to the standard. He can speak and give you different knowledge altogether. You have a false vision. So this teaches us that not, in, not every revelation that comes from the Lord. Not every revelation. Not every revelation that comes from the Lord. So you should, you should be very careful whom you trust and whom you believe in his or her revelation. Because the Bible makes us understand in Ezekiel chapter 13 verse 9 that his hands is against the prophet who see false vision. John chapter, John chapter 14, the verse number 6. Jeremiah chapter 5, the verse number 31. Let's read that too. He said, the prophets prophesy falsely. The prophets prophesy falsely. But go to their church and see. Excuse me. Go to their church and see. They have over billions of people. And you see those with uh, the, the truth are with 17, 18, 19. Some people are even two in the church. The husband and the children. The husband and the wife make them a church but if you go to the first prophet their church they have overflow hallelujah may the lord have mercy upon them i be, we have a prophet here don't ever tell don't don't put my mouth on something that I'm, i i don't believe in prophet then i'm antichrist and god forbid i can never be antichrist in the mighty name of jesus deuteronomy chapter 13 the verse number one to five just read this Bible verse. Just murmuring them in your, in, your, in your mind. Just remind them. Read them. 
and you see the first prophet, the first, the first teachers, the first evangelists, and the first prophet. See this pastor, the pastor who made me to preach today. See, a whole pastor. The narrator make us understand that he is proper in Brekum, not a, a, a brown half region. The narrator said he is very, very popular and half congregation. See him. The judo man make him to cross his eyes. <laughs> it's even funny to, to, to snap him from head to toe. I have the, the, the picture here. From Sorry to say, Sebe Sebe, his, his manhood. Now I know the kind of manhood this man is having. Your children are there. Your wife will see this picture. Your grandchildren will come on this media and see this picture, those who are sharing it. Me, after this message, I'm going to delete it and purify myself in the blood of Jesus. So please, don't share it. If you're on the media and you see someone naked picture, don't share it. Let the, the task collector share them. Don't do it. If you are that, you, you, you can't, you, the Spirit of God is not in you. Don't share anybody's disgrace. When somebody is disgraced, don't share his disgrace or her disgrace. You don't know the next day or the next hour what God can do. So don't ever in your life promote somebody shameless. No, don't ever in your life promote someone shameless. Because this pastor we are talking here, he can give birth to me. He's my father. But because of using the name of the, our Lord Jesus Christ to break tricks, the Lord has shown him that he is the one who created him. Not him alone. Today, his own has come. Tomorrow, it will be you, false prophet. You. You who is sleeping with ladies on your altar. The next thing, it will be you who are prophesying in falsely with. The next thing to be you who are sharing false vision. False revelation, it will be you. The Lord is going to disgrace you people if you don't repent. Gradually, gradually they, are, they, they are disgracing. They are coming. They, they will be on the social media with their shameless. So take this and warn yourself and abstain from what is not good. The next person will be you. You pro false prophets, you who speak lies. And let me tell you, if you are not a prophet, and you are, if you are, you are not an evangelist, you are not any man of God or woman of God or daughter of God or son of God, and you speak lies, you are the same as the false prophet. So be careful with your tongue. You are the same as false prophet. So let us be careful. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ give you understanding and share this video. May you be blessed by sharing it into the group. Even if you know any false prophet, you know by his fruit you have tested and see he is a false prophet. Forward this video to him and let him repent from his falsehood, uh, falsely life. May the Lord bless you. Amen.